very basic Bible quick read through of Matthew. Going to have our eight minute timer, going to hit start, and then it's going to ding. Some people, they read the first few chapters, then they stop. Oh, no, I need to read again. So then they read again, and then they give up. Oh, I need to read again. So they start somewhere else. They never finish. This way, we'll actually finish. Okay, guys, here we go. Eight minute timer. We're on verse 23 of Matthew chapter 2. Verse 23. Start. And he went and lived in a town called He Who. And he, okay, let's look at the previous verse. And he went. But when he, he heard that. When he heard of Archelaus is reigning in Judea, the place of his father Herod, he was afraid. Now, if you remember, it was Joseph, but we're going to try and, so he got up, took the child, which is Jesus. Okay, let's go to the chapter heading. After, oops, after Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in the dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, because remember, they were in Egypt. Get up, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel. For those who are trying to take the child's life are dead. King Herod and all of his uh, soldiers and all his political people are dead now. So Joseph got up, took the child, his mother, and they went to the land of Israel. But when they heard that Archelaus was reigning in Judea in the place of his father, Herod, he was afraid to go there. Herod had just killed all the kids. Having been warned in a dream, probably from an angel, Joseph withdrew to the district of Galilee, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So was fulfilled, remember again, Fulfilled doesn't mean it was exactly like it was. If the prophecy said one thing, the fulfillment isn't an exact replica. The prophecy says X, Y, and Z. The fulfillment might be X, Y, Y, A, Z. But it's a type. The prophecy is a type. The fulfillment is Jesus. Jesus is the fulfillment of the type of the prophecy. So we fulfill what was said through the prophets that he would be called a Nazarene because he's living in Nazareth, a Nazarene. Okay, there we go. Um, lots of prophets were talked about Nazarenes, you know. So if you want to learn about Nazarenes, go look it up. <laughs> but right now we're going to keep reading. Here we go. In those days, in what days? The same days? I don't know, maybe. Let's keep going. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe this is still whenever Jesus is a baby or whenever they were going to and from Egypt. I'm not sure. Okay. In those days, John the Baptist, or I am sure, but we're going to be. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near. So this dude, the John the Baptist out in the wilderness, telling everybody, repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near. I mean, Jesus has just been born. This is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord and make straight paths for him. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is near, matches, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight paths, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness. This is he, John the Baptist, who had spoken of through the prophet Isaiah. It'd be pretty cool if the prophet Isaiah spoke about me, but I'm not in the Bible. That's probably a good thing because I'm too prideful. Lots of prideful people in the Bible. Okay. John, who Isaiah spoke of, John's clothes were made of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. That's good. His food was locusts. Yes, they ate bugs and wild honey. Some people say the locust is a fruit. There's a kind of plant, that's a, but they all ate bugs back then. Locust was a normal thing they ate. Mm -hmm. He's in the wilderness. What else is he going to eat? People went out to him from Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region of the Jordan, Jordan River. All these people going to him, confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. But when John saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees, the religious leaders, the super uptight religious people, when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to where he was baptizing, he said to them, so up here, he's preaching, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. He's baptizing people in the Jordan River down here as they confess their sins. But when John sees these Pharisees and Sadducees come, you brood of vipers who warned you to flee from their coming wrath. So we call them blue, coming wrath. There's wrath coming. Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. 
Don't think that you could say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. The axe, remember the rasp? The axe is already at the root of the tree, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. <coughs> okay, he's telling this to the religious people. He's saying, y'all, we have Abraham as our father. Don't use that excuse. Instead, produce every uh, produce fruits keeping with repentance because every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown in the fire even if you're a religious leader okay jesus is a son of as a son of abraham hopefully he produces good fruit i'm guessing he does i john the baptist he's still talking to religious leaders baptize you with water for repentance okay but after me comes one who is more powerful than i whose sandals i am not worthy to carry he will baptize you with the holy spirit and fire remember make straight the paths of the lord uh one who is more powerful than i is that the lord he will baptize you with the holy spirit and fire is that the lord his the one who's coming after me his winnowing fork is in his hand and he will clear his threshing floor uh farming stuff everybody with farmers back there gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the chaff with unquenchable fire. You gather the wheat because you can eat it. It's nutritious. You burn the chaff because it's useless. In other words, Pharisees and Sadducees, flee from the wrath that is to come by producing good fruit. You want to be wheat. You don't want to be chaff and be burned up with fire. John's not, he's not going, oh, y'all are religious. Oh, y'all are good. Y'all get it passed. No, no, no. He sees that they need God too. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. Okay, look at this. In those days, John the Baptist came. And verse 6, confessing their sins, the people from Jerusalem confessing their sins, they were baptized by John in the river Jordan. Down here, verse 13. Then Jesus came from Galilee. Is he still a baby? Probably growing up. It doesn't say his parents brought him, right? He came to the Jordan to be baptized by John, but John tried to deter him saying, I need to be baptized by you. Do you come to me? So John and Jesus already know each other. John knows Jesus is up here, but after me comes one who's more powerful than I, whose sandals I'm not even worthy to carry. And John's like, Jesus, no, I need to be baptized by you. You come to me. Jesus replied, let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this, to fulfill all righteousness. Remember, fulfill prophecy. Here, Jesus is going to be baptized by John to fulfill all righteousness. I'm thinking Jesus is an adult by this time. Then John consented. Okay, John's like, okay, I'll do it. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. Oof. So he's in the water. He comes up. At that moment, heaven was open, and he saw John. The spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him, Jesus. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son whom I love. With him, I am well pleased. John, the head see John or the people see the heaven open. Oh, man, there we go. Perfect. We got right to the end. John sees heaven open. He hears a, a voice from heaven. He sees a dove landing on him. Do the people see it? Does John see it? Do the religious leaders who are standing around they see it? I'm not sure. You know, who knows who saw that? But hey, this is my son whom I, whom I love. With him, I am well pleased. Pretty cool, huh? All right. See y'all in the next very basic Bible. Quick read.